hi. So you know what I don't understand? When people turn to me and say, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise me you won't get angry. Because of course I'm going to say, yeah, sure, I promise. Promise I'll get angry. Okay, I accidentally told somebody about your third nipple. What? Are you okay, serious? I'm sorry. How does a nipple come up in conversation? Oh, but you promised you wouldn't get angry. So? Like seriously? You think my promise means something? What am I, some kind of Lord of the Rings character? You have my promise, and a wizard doesn't take promises lightly. But you I promise. I promise things all the time, it doesn't mean anything. You promise that's a real moustache. Yep. You promise this is safe to drink? Yep. Ah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Nat, you have to promise me you're gonna go back and get help. Yeah, 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 for sure. But really, do people seriously think that getting someone to promise not to get angry works? Because, pfft, that shit hasn't worked for me. I have some news for you though, I promise you won't get angry. Yeah, sure, what is it? I f***ed your cat. What? And I kind of feel like it's a counterproductive measure, you know? It's like when someone says to me, hey, promise you won't panic, and then I'm all, I'm not panicking! You know? And once I was even honest about getting angry. Do you promise you won't get angry? Nope. But if you don't promise, I can't tell you. Well then don't tell me. Just promise. I promise. I won't get horny. You already promised that today. And you broke it. I don't know. I just thought it was strange to bargain someone's emotions for information. I mean, if I ever wanted information, I'd just flash. Tell me! No! Tell me or I show Okay, you. okay! I promise a lot of things, kid. But yeah, no, I did promise I'd have this video up in two days, and I appreciate all the time you've given me in between videos to sort things out, including the unpacking of my new place. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, the medicine go down. And I thought the break was going well until this girl came up to me and asked me if I was Michelle Fun. And then I realized it's probably about time I get back to YouTube. No, it's okay. A lot of people ask me if I'm Michelle Fun, which is really just offensive for Michelle Fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm Michelle Fun before the makeup. Anyway, um, thank you also to these guys who I had a wonderful time bumping into. It was a pleasure meeting you as always. And I apologize if I've forgotten some people's photos. It's been a while, so I may have lost it, but feel free to send it in again. And also I have some very exciting news for you. I got a kitten! Say hi! Say hi to YouTube! YouTube love cats! Like I love you! I spent all day making her love me. Please don't leave me. I love you. Please, I love you. And the great thing is because she's a pet, she has to love me. You have nowhere else to go. Okay, I'm so glad I'm back. Crazy cat lady on YouTube. I will see you guys in four days. Stop clawing my boob. Bye! It really hurts. In the most delightful way. You have my promise, chosen one, and you are not one I would wish to break it to. <laughs> hey, Nat, how come you're single? More money, more problems. Hey, Natalie, what's it like to be a YouTube star? Okay, it's porno music slash comment time. And yes, that is an Oprah shirt. I am actually now the proud owner of two Oprah shirts. My friend was trying to throw them out and I was like, you trying to throw those out? Give them to me, I will use them. And yes, many apologies by the way. And uh, when I say two days, I mean about 48 hours from upload. So the next video will be approximately four days, which is about 96 hours from now. Sorry, I mentioned that because a lot of people get confused. But basically 96 hours or in Natalie time, that's about two years. I joke, I'll see you guys soon.